I'm here in the middle of Walker, Minnesota on a frozen lake where it is officially stupidly cold. Behind me, there's hardly any signs of civilization. In front of me is the 32nd annual Eel Pout Festival, where people gather on a frozen lake for three days in the dead of winter. What would possess them to do such a thing? Um, the beer. There's, really? There's alcohol involved? Oh, there, that would be why you think I have a drinking horn. Why would you otherwise be dressed as a Viking? <laughs> Part of the Eel Pout Festival, Jay, people come out onto this frozen lake and build what? Cabins? All these cabins? Ice, 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 ice castles. Ice jacks. Ice, ice houses? Ice, ice, ice holes? Oh, yeah. Bars. I, I've never seen such a bunch of ice holes in my life. <laughs> I'm from a country where we don't even know much about frozen lakes. But I will say this, two things I would never do if I was on a frozen lake, cut a hole in it, and then put a heater in. Look, uh, your floor is melting. It became alarmingly clear that these Americans would risk their lives for this so-called eel pout, and I still didn't even know what one was. What is an eel pout? The ugliest fish you've ever seen. Uh, a lot of slime. They got a tail that looks like a snake. They're really ugly. Just kind of just pulled it up out of the hole. Holy cow, this is an eel pout. <laughs> this is why we're here. This is the That's festival. <laughs> so, so, what, what, so what happens now? You kiss it for luck? You kiss it. Okay, you go first. Well done. I am not kissing that. <laughs> you go for it. I am not doing that. Jade, it's time to chase the pout. Are we ready, everybody? Yeah! The rules are... You get really drunk, you put a dead animal on your head. Yes! And then at some point, we grab ourselves an eel pout, we put it into the trough, and the pout with the quickest time wins! Some good sized pouts here. I'm gonna reach in and uh, see how well I do. I got one, I got one. Yeah! Uh, I'm gonna call this fella Lil Lightning. He's away, look at him go! Official time? 23.6. 23.6! You swam like it didn't even matter! This is what happens to the poor eel pout that aren't quite fast enough. Sorry, little lightning. Mmm. Tastes like defeat. To people who say they don't understand winter sports, I say, behold, eel pout curling. <laughs> Ladies, what brings you to the Eel Pout Festival? Our boyfriends made us. <laughs> um, that explains it. <laughs> are these your boyfriends? Yes. Those are, are you really? Yes. Those are, those yes. are them. Only in America could two men riding kegs on the back of a four-wheeler pick up women. <laughs> Happy Eel Pout Festival! Oh. Hey, Dad. Hey, do you guys grow onions down down uh, uh, where's that in uh, Australia? Mm. You grow onions down there? Winter onions? I did not understand a word of that. So, no, no, no let's pause for a second well, you know and replay doing? that. We're going to replay that with uh, subtitles. Hang on. Hey, do you guys grow onions down down uh, uh, where's that in uh, Australia? <laughs> I, ju I just read the subtitles. Still doesn't make any sense. Still does not make any sense. And if that wasn't disturbing enough, did I mention that this whole festival culminates with everyone dressing in costume and jumping into freezing cold water? Well, it does. And by everyone, I also mean me. I'm going to do the polar ice plunge. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're the, the V up here, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go to the doctor. He'll grab my throat and then say, now turn and cough. Well, Run me through the, the process oh, of jumping in. I hit a in. beer in my... Uh... Uh, area last year and shotgunned it right before I jumped in. Tend to do something like that again this year. Classy. <laughs> Is there something you could maybe uh, donate to my uh, plunging outfit? I have a rabbit fur that, that loincloth. A rabbit fur loincloth? That sounds amazing. <laughs> May I have a look at it or is that going to get creepy? Oh, yeah, I'd have to take it off. Are you actually wearing it? <laughs> Where do you think you put rabbit skin loincloth? I thought it would be like a new one from the store. 
and not surprisingly, I declined his offer. Besides, I had a furry costume of my own. It's go time. Representing the Tonight Show, all the way from Australia, ladies and gentlemen, Rove McManus! So what did the Eel Pout Festival teach me about Americans? Well, I learned that they're much tougher than me. Oh my God! And quite like the Eel Pout itself, no matter how strange you look, you can overcome the elements and a whole lot of shrinkage. You 